that goes back tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to make some snacks. I'm going to try. But the thing is, I don't think I can get a snack break. So what I'm going to do is pack one snack and try and sneak that in. Like maybe for choir or like when I go to electives or something. And eat that then. If I can't do that, then I'll just like, go and eat it or something. I don't know. But I'm gonna do that, and then I'm going to have a bus snack and a couple snacks for lunch. The first thing, I'm gonna make quiches, but I actually don't want to do that. I'm gonna make mini pancakes because why not? So that's what we're gonna do. Pancakes. So that's what I'm going to make first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some cinnamon and vanilla and syrup to this just to make them a little bit more syrupy. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm just going to add cinnamon, or not cinnamon, the syrup. Let's make this so How do you make this? Yeah. One cup of mix, three fourths cup of water or milk. Oh, so you do need a mix. Okay. Hold on, so you need one cup of mix. Bless you! Ah. I'm gonna just do this and put this fast motion. but I can't open this so we're gonna use canola oil hope that it works the same I need two tablespoons so I'm literally just gonna use the lid because why not all right and then you need an egg so I'm gonna grab that egg and finish this up adding the syrup is because I want it to be sweet since we will not be able to bring this to school. My siblings can keep these too, but I'm just going to keep them in the fridge for a couple days and put them in my microwave in this morning before the syrup. This is super thin, but I did what the directions said, so now I have this bottle that I don't want to leave, so I'm going to use that and do this.
Okay, sorry. This is how much I have so far. And then I have some on this griddle. And then I still have this much. So I'm trying to think of something else to make. But I think I'm going to throw an applesauce in my lunch every day. Some pancakes. And make something else up to. Not really 100% sure yet what that's going to be. But I just I need something with protein in it. So maybe like make a protein shake in the morning and drink that. Um, I don't really know. Ooh, I'm going to get hungry. But I can't. Then when I get hungry, I don't focus. That's like the problem with that. So, I don't know. Since I wanted this to be like pancake cutter, I should kind of do some. I'm going to put that in. Um, I'm just like trying to make like some of this. I should have put protein into these. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Oh well. Always next time. I'm really probably like the only one honestly who's gonna take these and eat them. Oh, I'm Excuse me. Crap, I should have thought about that because now one of those is done and I can't flip it. Right. Yeah, that's not even done yet. So that's what I'm gonna do. In this video, I wanted to mention I made I was editing a lot. Like I could film whatever and then edit that at school because I was going to this program and I could edit in between classes. But now that I'm gonna be in actual school, I can't do that. So you guys aren't gonna get a video up as quickly as you did yesterday. Like, I edited it all yesterday, and then I posted it today. I don't know if that's going to be <laughs> Hold on. Simple grab I'm going to take stuff and put it in these bags and put it in the fridge and just to throw it into your backpack, whatever. So, I'm going to just grab everything that I'm going to put in there. So, let's go. Okay, sorry, I was in the wrong thing. Alright, so what we're going to grab in there, um, not my just because they were not that easy. Okay. One, two, I have seven bags, so two, and and I'm gonna put this away because I don't have enough yet. So I'm gonna make some bars or something because we don't have really anything. I made the pancakes and had some applesauce, and that's about it. Oh, actually, you know what? No, I was gonna go for that, but I don't want to put that in. I'll just, so I'm gonna make cheese it. 
because why not? So that's not even possible. I don't know my sleep house is so dirty. I'm gonna just put my stuff in there. And then I'm gonna have to wash this, but that's okay. That's about eight ounces, but that's okay. recipe we need six ounces of cheese a half a stick of butter which i don't have i just have this so we are just going to eyeball that a half a stick of butter and i'm going to hope that these turn out okay and i just have to a little bit more uh, that's a little more than half a stick of butter i think that Okay, three fourths of a cup of whole wheat flour, which I don't have. So we're just gonna hope that all this is flour will work. I think I just have a fourth of it. Let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, we're gonna have a teaspoon of salt, and then you're gonna blend, or if you use your spoon pasta, you're gonna pulse until it is in a ball. So we're just gonna kind of eyeball that. Okay. I'm gonna kind of mix this together before I blend it. And then I'm gonna blend or pull it. I'm gonna put this over. I don't wanna ruin it, so I'm just gonna like kind of do it all together in trouble. My blender didn't work. I'm doing this by hand now. And I was kneading it. And this is what it looks like. And before it, I'm just like trying to use it as if it was a third pass of sand. So I ended up just like rolling it with my hands and this is what it looks like and I'm going to read the next step and then I will let you guys know. Next step is to roll it out and I'm just going to put this as a wax paper. I think this is parchment paper so I'm not my like wax center. So that's what we're going to do. And you just want to Up with a wooden spoon, but I don't want to go find that right now, so we're just gonna use a little bit.
really confusing, but now I guess I'm going to put them in the oven for 11 minutes at 350 degrees. So, let's go ahead and do that, but I'm going to transfer them. on here instead because I don't know if this is wax. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my I'm very confused. I will link the SMB. Yeah, I am super confused. This is the next step after this. This is very time consuming, so I don't think I'm going to be doing this recipe again. Not 350 for 11 so here I was just cleaning up a little bit while waiting for the cheeses to get done cooking. So I'm going to put this recipe in the link in the description. It's a pain, so make sure you have a food pasta or don't do it. <laughs> Unless you want to spend, what time is it? Mm, about 30 minutes just doing the dough part, because that's a long time. When it should have been just two and a half minutes apparently. And I'm going to tell you this so you don't get confused. Read the first part of the directions. Don't worry about the second because the one steps one through three is the first part. Steps two through six or whatever, or three through six, that's just doing it all over again. So, yeah. No, I'm not taking them for snacks. But they look like now that that's all done. So, um, I probably, yeah, I'll show you what these look like. like. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.